The 6.5 is on the road with a view from Davos. It has been uh, an incredible event. Actually, it's been my, my first World Economic Forum, and it's really been a really nice blend of tech, politics, uh, regulation, a lot of government officials here, a lot of really good discussions, uh, particularly around uh, the economic opportunities and potential risks with AI. Yeah, we knew that AI was going to be in focus at this event, Pat. And you know, every year there's always thematically something that's going on here. And you as a novice and me as a wily second year here at Davos, I'm glad I was able to to implore my wisdom upon you. But um, it's been a great week, and this is always a, a moment for that kind of pro public-private partnership, but it's also a really interesting moment because this is also a year where you have major administration changes. Uh, the U.S. obviously always drives a lot of the world, especially in technology, and now you're starting to kind of see how does the rest of the world adjust to it. So we knew it would be a big week, it's been a big week, and uh, having a lot of fun here. Yeah, and one of the big elements of, uh, of the new AI economy, as we've seen, IT has been uh, fragmented. And yes. being able to monitor whether it's the devices, the applications, infrastructure, uh, pretty much everything, what's going on has become uh, paramount. And I can't uh, imagine a better person to have a discussion with than uh, Christina from Logic yes. Monitor. Hello. Welcome back to the 6.5. We're not in Las Vegas, we're here in Switzerland. It's a little different different vibe, but uh, loving Slightly, it. Love right. talking to you guys no matter where we are. Thank yeah. you, thank you, same. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, maybe the, a good place to start. Uh, you and I are both first time attenders yes. uh, of the event. Um, can we talk a little bit about, we're about halfway in, yeah. a couple days in. Yeah. Uh, uh, what kind of conversations are you having? Yeah. Why did why did you come in the first place? Yeah. And what are you getting out of it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's definitely been an incredible experience. A little overwhelming, right? Uh, especially coming here with all all there is to do. So we were looking for kind of three things. One was just an opportunity to meet with all of our customers and partners uh, in one place. It's just been incredible, and to be able to to really have these strategic conversations with the the top level yes. folks has been extremely beneficial. Um, the second is, you know, those who know us love us, but not everybody knows us. And right. so just being able to get our name out um, and people to learn about what we're doing is, is very exciting. And then third, just the conversations we're having, it's just really insightful for me as we even think about our strategy and where we go next. That's um, right. Has been um, unbelievably eye-opening this, this week. Yeah, the concentration has definitely been one of these things. Daniel, uh, you bring that up time and time again, and I, I agree with it. Well, I always say that the amount of meaningful meetings you can have in such a short period of time. It's hard to replicate that at any other event um, because of just the density of, of, of executives, leaders, government officials, um, you know, consultants, policymakers. Just, it just, it's, it's pretty great. Um, Christina, you had a pretty big few months. Yeah. Um, first of all, you, you, you raised a little money. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, several hundred million at a, at a nice- 800 uh, million. I yeah. said several hundred. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was yeah, a, yeah, effectively, yeah, exactly. but I didn't have it memorized. Yeah, yeah. I think the correct word is uh, almost a billion almost dollars. A billion. Yeah, almost yeah, a billion yeah, dollars yeah. At, a, at a valuation north of that. Yes. Um, you know, seeing great support later stage. And yeah. of course, this week you also, you know, said, I, I want to top that here at yeah. the World Economic Forum. And I'm going to announce a partnership with probably, if not the most prolific, one of the most prolific yeah. names in LLMs and yeah. AI, yeah. open AI. Right. Talk a little bit about kind of the progress you're making and, and yeah. share a little bit more about that announcement. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're we're having so much fun right now at Logic Monitor and, and doing lots of great stuff. And they, you know, the the raise is really exciting because it's a testament to the work we're doing, and it gives us an opportunity to get the work we're doing in the hands of more customers um, and more markets. And and that's really important for us to accelerate that. Um, and then this open AI announcement is just um, really important to us. I think there's three areas that we're we're partnering with them on. And the first is obviously we ingest over. A trillion records uh, a day um, and so we've got this tremendous amount of data and so we AI is a huge part of our strategy um, ourselves we launched Edwin uh, in January or June last year so six months ago and that's our AI ops kind of agentic uh, um, product and we're building off of uh, OpenAI's LLM so that's super important to have that framework 
And then two, our customers have asked us to monitor LLMs. Right. So this opportunity to be able to monitor the LLMs for kind of the performance and the cost and the, the sustainability impacts is another big, um, another big area. And then finally, internally, we also are reskilling, upskilling our team to think about how we take advantage of AI right. and our internal operations and chat GPT for the enterprise is, is a big part of that as, as well. So it's super exciting. So if I, so I may say real quickly here, um, I would like to suggest that the keynote speakers you brought over the last few years to open up your <laughs> sales kickoffs Let's do it. and all the success, I, I don't know, but I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing a pretty big connection there. Somehow I knew Dan would get in a plug for himself. <laughs> uh, Wait, didn't you, you, didn't you do that? I did. Okay, so I, I did, said, I said, I did do that are, one. Let's, you guys were very high, super years, high rated. Yeah. Yes, I both of you that. were. Maybe, I think you were the highest rated. So yeah, yeah I'm yeah, going to give so. you that. Yeah, well, thank you. So let's let's get you back. I think she was looking at me. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> um, no, as, as you're having these conversations, you know, we talked a little bit about, uh, hey, uh, I, I want your help to monitor these LLMs. As we're moving into this world of, of generative and agentic AI, I, I know we're, we're here already in yeah. certain areas, particularly on the training yeah. side and, and a lot of consumer applications, but it's really just the start when it comes to enterprises uh, and governments. Yeah. Uh, what uh, requests are you getting uh, that y you uh, that you can fulfill or, or, or you'd like to put a solution against? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think, you know, first and foremost, and the heritage of our company is ensuring the performance of the infrastructure and ensuring that it stays up and running, right? And, you know, that's that's critical. And it's even more critical now that everyone's rushing to, to do all of these different use cases in AI. If you're building your businesses and your workflows on it and it's not up and running and there's latency, that can be a problem, right? Latency matters. I mean, so many different connective tissue. It's not just the, right. it's not just the compute and the GPUs. Right. It's right. the connectivity between the networking, right. uh, the storage system, yeah, exactly. pretty much everything. Right. And they're so interconnected, even these reasoning systems are systems that are talking to each other that are across the data right. center. Definitely, yeah. I mean, it's all it's all interconnected. And I think that's the theme here this week of um, World Economic Forum is around this this connected, collaborative um, intelligence, right? And I think you know, one, we're seeing this connectedness of devices, and that's really where we play. Is is there's this hybrid world which you think of as on premise and in the cloud, yes. right? But there's also these connected devices, and so we monitor connected devices for our companies as well. And so being able to pull all that together is critical. And then, as you mentioned, the stack is getting more complicated. And I was uh, in, a, in a round table panel on chips, and everyone's thinking, oh, what does logic monitor have to do with chips? Well, no, I mean, the chips are, are coming into these data centers, right? And they're having to be more efficient. And all of the customers are saying, you know, especially in the IT departments, they're like, I have got to deliver all this innovation, but I also have to think about the, the long-term sustainability of both cost and right. energy at compute. So how do I think about managing that? And so we're able to kind of bring all that metadata together as well and give those recommendations around how do you think about where those workloads go? How do you think about fulfilling this demand? Um, and then we also have, you know, our collector architecture is, is on the edge. So we can also provide the efficiency. So while the chips themselves are getting more efficient, yeah. we also can, can do some of that balancing where we don't have to bring all the data in, you know, right. pass it all through it all the time. We can say this one's, um, you know, can, it's not necessary to pull all the, you know, 24 by seven. And so there's lots of ways I think we're bringing that connectedness from the devices through the stack uh, in, the, in the technology and just trying to kind of bring it all together. Yeah. So Christina, as we, as we sort of wrap up here, I'd love to get a little bit of your outlook, right? Yeah. So we talked about all the success yeah. that's been built up, combination here, a little bit of this experience, but you know, we've got this m big transition going on. You're hearing a lot about deregulation. Yeah. Uh, that should be exciting for you know your own possibilities with M&A, right. um, continued investment yeah. growth and IPO, yeah. which finally the market might actually support. I'm not <laughs> yes. suggesting you do that. I'm also not suggesting you don't. Yeah. But kind of what's you your next, uh, what do you think the outlook for 25, what are some of your big objectives and what are some of the things you're really paying attention to? 
Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, this this word collaboration, I think, is, is sometimes gets, you know, overused, but it is really true. It's about how can you collaborate across the data? So you're bringing the data in a unified view, and that's critical because data is kind of going everywhere. As you said, it's fragmented. There's all these different devices. There's connectedness in the kind of the supply chain and the tech stack, and then there's connectedness in regulation and policies and frameworks. And so I think, you know, collaboration's one world. I think interoperability is going to be really important right. and so all of that and you know we're certainly looking for um, you know seeing here coming out with these frameworks but then our technology ourselves we're saying where can we build these partnerships so that we can have that interoperability with the entire stack that, that companies are looking for. Yeah it makes sense that interconnectedness it is literally everything it's just when you think things are can, can get simpler and, and, and we figure this things out we add we add another layer and more complexity so absolutely uh, companies adding adding value uh, in the stack. It's great yeah. to hear. Christina, I just want to thank you so much for joining us. It's great to meet with you here. Yes. Uh, I'm sure we'll see you a lot this year as you continue your journey. Uh, you will show up more and more on our yes. radar. Great. And uh, we're wishing you all the best and success and uh, enjoy the rest yeah. of your event. Thank you. Thanks thank you for having much. me. And yeah, we're ready to crush 2025 for Excellent. sure. And thank you everybody for being part of the 65 on the road with a view from Davos. Hit subscribe, join us for all of our content coverage and conversations here on the ground. It's been a great event right here on the way in the middle of the World Economic Forum with the backdrop of the magic mountain behind us. See you all later.